me that it works. Like with my laptop, it works everywhere, but with my phone, the Wi-Fi is not so great. So it sucks. Yes, there is Wi-Fi, which is good because the light I need to show you guys. So I will be reviewing the AIM app. So let's do this. I guess. Click on the app to start out with. And here's what you get. You can pick from mobile me, dot Mac, or AIM. I wish I had Mac, but I don't. So I will be clicking AIM. I right, entered my screen name. Tech, T E K Talker 20, 24. So if you guys need, don't. I am you just to say, hey, what's up? Uh, this is like a helpline if you guys need help. I lost my internet service. I don't have any here apparently. Let me enter my password. So I'm going to have to go back over by uh, my desk. Sorry, you guys, for moving around. I know that that doesn't make the best video, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, see so now I have Wi-Fi again, which is actually nice because I have Wi-Fi right where my bed is, right by my head, by the head of my bed. So and I, I can uh, go and uh, check my email and stuff. And I just lost it. Ugh, reception is horrible on the iPhone. It's really bad. And the funny thing is. What? Is it only happens in my room, like or in my house? In everybody else's house, and I never lose reception or any, uh, anything. But I all in my house, it's like the hardest thing to find. But our laptops work perfectly, so okay. Here I have bars, <laughs> like not talking bars, but yeah, I bars. Okay, so here's what it says. Let me put my laptop up here. So, I can show you guys. If logged in, it takes like no time at all to log in, which is nice. And uh, here's what it looks like. If you guys can see that, I'm gonna turn down the brightness of my screen real fast. Oh, I actually have two Wi Fi bars. It's uh, actually a really nice app. I prefer the multimedia one, or not multimedia, but the ones where you have more than just AIM, you have all of them, and those are actually even higher rated, they work better, even though it's not just for AIM, so I might be doing a review of that, so it says offline, offline for groups, trying to connect, um, I can go to IMs, active IMs, I have none, and uh, so my info, like, is that I'm available, and then, like, a picture if there was one of me. I can put it away and a message up and stuff. And my buddy list, which is edit, add. And I'm going to add a screen name right here. Um, Who should I add? Okay, I'll do this one. This is, I'm adding somebody, and it's an expired screen name, Daddy Parent Pro 01, nickname would be me, that used to be one of my very, very, very old ones, which I ended, and, um, but it still works, no, I don't ever check it, though, I just thought that would work, so it says that it is... I'm going to sign on to it right now. No. Oh, I just lost my service. Again, that really sucks. Now I gained it back. No, I didn't. I lost it. Now I gained it back. It's really bad. Anyways, this works pretty nicely, I guess. Not the best one. Like I said, I like the all-in-one AM applications. I'll be doing a review of one of those later. But let me just try to get up a conversation to see if this is going to work or not for you guys. You must have access. I do have access. But it was groups online. 
It's okay, they're my online friends right now. And so they don't have any apparently. It's because I'm using this old one. So I'm gonna add. So you guys, the video, it's not that great. Now I'm saving it. And, uh, won't let me send my am. Back to my end. Okay. You can actually send it to uh, somebody's cell phone number. It says, which is really cool. It says screen name or SMS number. So you can go on AIM on this and send it to somebody's cell phone so that they can reply even if they don't have AIM. So let me put this in. I'm signed on on my computer. And that's cool. So now here's what it looks like. I just typed hi back. So I know and I'll be getting this message shortly. And once he sends me a message back, the whole conversation starts. Hmm. I won't send it. Well, this is a horrible review of an application. But I guess how good can you possibly make it if you don't have a good connection? Anyways, so it takes a while to send IMs. It's still sending. Still sending. And I have three bars for Wi Fi. Still sending. Still sending. Still sending. Tick tock, tick tock. As you can see, it takes a while, but then the conversation just kind of appears as a text message conversation would, um, like this. Let me just pull up text. I'm sorry, you guys. I can, it just kind of appears like this. You're the green ones. As you guys can see, like if I scroll down, there's a green one that's me. Then this is the person you're chatting with. Great. So it appears, it's really easy to flip through the conversations. And stuff like that, but I would recommend you guys get an all in one instead of the AIM. It's easy to use, but I don't know, it's just not that great with the iPhone. Um, and this is one of the apps that they made for the iPhone in the beginning, but it didn't end up being that great. So, uh, they should update it. They, they should do the, I'm not saying they will, but who knows? I think it's not that great. Anyways, I'm sure you guys, it was a really bad review. I just can't give you something that great right now when I don't have much service. I mean, if I was at a friend's house, I'd hit Wi-Fi, it'd be a good video, but I'm sorry. Um, anyways, if you guys have any questions or comments or want to request a video, you can email me at techtalker24 at gmail.com, or you can send me a message on YouTube. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe.